Humanity has brought itself to the edge of extinction. I arrived through the gate to find this world broken. I came here to escape oppression, to bring wisdom and prosperity. But above all, I came here to rule. Ooh. That's right, folks, we're back for Dawn of Hope. Jotter of Thunder, this is the second game in the series. And uh, I recorded the first one. I loved it. I love that post-apocalyptic mixture with magic. And if you remember, we had like our climbing gear, climbing hooky thing, and we had to upgrade it. I'm excited to get into this one. This is, of course, made by Madhead Games, and they are a great developer. I'm doing this live. I'm waving at all of the lovely folks for reels, watching right now, playing along. And uh, that's Team YouTube and Hitbox and Twitch and Beam. They're playing along with me. We're sharing in the adventure. We're gonna go ahead and hit that play button here and get cracking. Gale, Tempest, Typhoon, Calamity, and Custom. Wow, that is not a lot of options selected here for that one. Holy mackerel. Here we go, folks. It does feel like yesterday that we were playing the first game. Sure does. Sister, wake up! Come on, Astrid, wake up! Hurry up, Astrid! The tornado is gaining strength again. I guess we're playing Astrid, are we? We have to pack up and run. Be sure to grab my amulet. I don't want to leave it behind. Wow, she is quite handsome. Look at her. Lovely creature. Would be like an interactive tutorial. Let's explain only the special features, please. Nancy, thank you so much in the chat for sharing the playlist for the first game. We are looking for collectibles, folks, so this is the item that if you spot, shout it out. This game does remind me of Fallout 4 to a certain degree. I agree with that sentiment. Man, we are excitable here. Are we, like, the w flying through, like, the tornado of the Wizard of Oz, maybe? Look at this thing. We got, like, a hoverboard or something? Snowboard. I liked in the original game how they used like arcanistic, or I don't know, the language they used to describe these items weren't like 20th century words, they were off. I'm not, I'm not sure how else to describe it, but it was kind of interesting how they did that. No, not the zipper pull. Seriously. She looks like you, does she? Oh, you wish she does look like you. Ah, it's all good. We're all beautiful in our own way. The whole house is shaking. I better hurry. What is she doing? She's taking the same piece of cloth and putting it into her bag here. If Lynn hadn't woken me up, the storm would have caught me. Close spin might help. Aha! It's all sparkly. Morph objects. Each hidden object puzzle has a morph. Oh boy. Good old morphs. Oh, I see we're gathering up all our tools quick. Everything I hope an adventurer needs. Knox. Tornado is ripping. Oh my gosh, it stole stuff from the. Oh, my, that is so cool! <laughs> the tornado stole stuff from our hidden object puzzle. Bad tornado. Seriously, how is this, how is that even possible, Tornado? I like how we're like packing up our bag here, it's pretty cool. Yes, that's true, she does have your name. 
Say my name, say my name. Oh, I guess we don't need that. We need the candle. And what looks like a tambourine, but is not. Oh, look at these lovely uh, strawberries here. Some cookies. Uh, what the heck is this supposed to be? Oh, wow. It's actually a watch. That silhouette's kind of rough. No! Oh my gosh, I can't believe we went through all that trouble and then we lost our bag. Good grief. We have Lynn's amulet. You think? Grab my hand. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. <gasps> I've got you. Try to pull yourself up. Working on it. Oh, that piece is gonna fall. Hold on. Much longer. You better hold Watch on out. for that beam is Oh, um, hi, uh, how are you able to do that? What? How are you doing that? Yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking. I don't know. Help me. Use my amulet. It has the same glow. Use the amulet. Magic. Whoa, what the heck is all this stuff? It didn't work! The symbol over Lynn's hand, maybe I should find its match! Okay, this- I'm already excited about this. This just jumped into the action here. Pretty amazing. Lynn, what's happening to you? Lynn? Wake up, Lynn. Lynn. I, I don't know. I just feel power running through my body. The amulet. More amulet fun. Hurry. Climb up before I faint. Let's do that, Lynn. We have some things to talk about here. What kind of ancient power is this? Hi! Um, so, what secrets do you have that you want to share and discuss? What just happened, Lynn? Where did you get that amulet? Yeah, seriously. Um, tell me more about this amulet, if you don't mind. It was with me when I was found as a baby. Oh, I feel kind of sick. Let's go. Okay, let's carry on. I feel a little weak. I'm gonna have to sit down. The storm has let up a little. This is our chance to get up to the mountains safely. We need to cross the bridge. Another great example of the global warming gone bad, post-apocalyptic environments. And uh, yeah, this is it folks. This is what we have to look forward to. Unless we can, science can figure out how to stop this. How do I grab that bridge? I need something long to help me. The stick is long. I could put a hook at the end to make it more useful. But don't forget, folks, we are looking for a collectible that looks kind of like this little squiggly thing over here. This needs valves to work. All right, Nancy, thank you so much for stopping by. Appreciate it. 
I can place something in the lock and hit it to break it. How about a snowboard? No. So I need a spinning top to go there, apparently. Uh, hello, sir. Are you not bothered by the whole uh, tornado-y thing here? Well, if it isn't Astrid, where's your sister? Why aren't you evacuating? The tornado's coming! Something strange is happening to Lynn. I love how there's like a random basketball in here. Diana, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate that. My shelter only has room for me, and I ain't leaving it. Ah, you're kind of a jerk. If you were smart, you'd get to the cable car and go see the mayor. Can I have your b-ball, buddy? I will take that. Hey I want now, the world might be ending, but that doesn't mean I'm handing out stuff for free. <laughs> GG, Mr. GG. Find me something I can use. Food, booze, magazines. It's going to be a long wait for the tornado to pass. Okay, all right, fine. Thank you very much. There is our collectible. Tent peg. Apparently that is not what we want. We need to find something valuable. It's stuck. I can grease the hinge. That might work. It's not moving, but it seems connected to that lever. Hmm. Apparently that tent peg is going to do the trick. Lens amulet is not. So, uh, kind of feeling like we're way too close to this tornado here. So, rubber glove? Um, how in the world does that help me at all, game? Apparently we just need to steal this valve. For some reason. Wait, do we have a map? Let's have a look at our journal here. So it's a standard journal, just listing off the different things we need to do. Traditional journals are not what Madhead Games is known for. They are known for breaking the fourth wall and mucking about with our interface. That's what they're known for. Okay, we're halfway there, I think. Wait. Can we open this one up? Two thirds of the way there. We're gonna have to do a puzzle soon enough. So. Oh. Pretty flowers on very s spiky plant there. Citizens of Duskvale, as your mayor, I offer you comfort and counsel in this time of need. Know that my doors are always open to you. We must brave this storm. We must, must we? The people of Duskville love the mayor. He somehow always knows what to do. Because he's causing this to happen, I think. Okay. Information. Lead the lock A 